upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence. By your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? Welcome back. I say welcome back. I know some of you, you went somewhere during Easter uh, period. You are welcome. I say you are welcome. In Jesus' name. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. I am here once again with the message of love. The love of God is permanent. The love of God is unmeasurable love. Let me acknowledge the presence of our viewers, those who are connected to this program. I welcome you in the name of Jesus, wherever you are, watching us make sure that you share the link and tell us where you are watching us from so that we know exactly that or our brother in Kasompe is watching us our brother in Lusaka anyway any town even beyond Zambia let us know that you are also watching us our sisters in UK America Namibia please we need to know that truly we are together. We are a team because we are a growing family. Praise the Lord. Love is not an option. Tell your neighbor. But the way of life. Love is not an option. It is the way of what? Life. I want to stand there. Love is not an option, but the way of what? That is the nature of God. I think that is our simple title this morning. Let me, I will take you to the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 27, then we we'll go to First John. Listen to this. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemy. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slap you on one cheek, turn to them on the other also. If someone takes you a call, do not withhold your shade from them. 30. Give to everyone who asks you, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Third one, do to others as you would have them to do to you. Praise the Lord. There's nothing new when it comes to the Bible. The same scripture that you have been leading from the time you become born again is the same scripture that we are leading. The only difference which is there is understanding. Love is not an option, but the way of life. What makes God to be patient despite human beings misbehaving and rejecting him is because of love. His name is love. His throne is love. His language is love. That's why there is forgiveness. It's because of love. Love is not an option, people of God. It is the way of life. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemy. Do good to those who hate you. It's not possible. If it is not the love of God in you, anything that you hear, because we are depending so much on information or what we see or hear, instead of depending on the love of God. 
The way of life is love. You can tell someone that I love you because there's something that you need from that person. The love I'm talking about is the love where you cannot receive anything to the person that you are helping or supporting. We are inside the church. How many people are outside there misbehaving, doing bad things? The same oxygen that you are using inside the church, you breathe in, you breathe out. They are using the same oxygen because the love of God is at work in them. Love is not an option, it is the way of life. If the world can come you know, together and believe in the word of God, to learn how to love, how to live at peace with everyone, regardless of their situation, their status, their tribe, their political affiliation, I don't think so. You can hear that they are fighting this side. Someone has been beaten because it belongs to this camp. Because where love is at work, you treasure the life of your brother and your sister more than yourself. If anything, the person who is not at peace is someone who hates the brother or the sister. In fact, when you see the person who you hate is progressing, you'll be less stressed. You will be panicking. How come this idiot? How come this foolish? He has no plan, but he's making things moving forward. You will see. There are people who can go into prayer and fasting against their fellow brother or fellow sister to say, I want that person to go down. And God Almighty is sitting on that throne of love, watching all this drama which is happening all over the world. Even those people who are occupying higher positions, they don't you know, recognize God that is the one who has put them there. They are just looking at people. My people put me here. They confess Christ in the presence of maybe the multitude so that they can deceive them. But what they are saying is not from their heart. Are you there? I'm begging you. Jesus came because of the love of God. No one can die for you. No one can sacrifice his own life because of you. But God Almighty made it possible and so clear that he loves you so much. There's nothing that can hold him not to sacrifice anything for the sake of you to be saved. The Bible says to those who are listening, I'm sure if you are there listening, you are taking this word dialect to your heart. People are enjoying life in a worldly manner outside there. Full of energy. They are doing all kinds of evil. If it is you, your workers, or anyone that you know, you think they are under you. They are not following the way of, you know, your instructions. And they are there doing what they are doing. Are you going to let them be like that? You punish them. You, reject, you wish them bad things. But look at your father in heaven. There are people who have vowed that I will never go to church. What is church? And yet, they are calling the life of God. God Almighty is there sitting on his throne of love. Watching them. There are people who can tell you if you go to church you will be poor. Come and join us. And these are the people who can even reach 100 years. It doesn't mean that they will reach 100 years because of God might want them to come back to him. Elisha's man will leave the world earlier than those wicked people. Love is not an exception, but the way of what? Life. Tell your neighbor once again. 
Love is not an exe- I mean, a, a, love is not what? An option. But the way of what? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Love is not an option. But the way of what? Life. Whether you like it or not, you never be at peace as long as you are calling something against anyone. A lot of people have died because of hatred. You hate someone, you develop BP. You hate someone, you develop, you know, arthritis. You hate someone, you develop heart problem. Is there any benefit? But if you know that love is the way of life, no matter how hard it is for you to let it go, you treasure the love of God in your life so that you live happily and freely. Praise the Lord. Bless those who curse you. Is it possible? Someone is cursing you, can you bless that person? Someone has caused pain in your heart. Can you bless that person? It's not possible. Where you want to do the right thing, your family members will rise against you, start calling you names, or your friends, or anyone that you know, and yet you are innocent. Apply the love of God. People will be sympathizing with you to say, ah, but the way these people have, for you, you are not there. You are in the love of God. Love is not an option, but the way of what? Life. Pray for those who mistreat you. Your boss at your working place is mistreating you, abusing you. As long as the love of God is not in you, you will not go on your knees and say, Father, I wish my boss a long life. Can you pray? Someone has taken over your marriage. You can't see any coin in your house. Money is going somewhere. Can you go on your knees and say, Father, I pray for my sister. And I wish her a long life. She doesn't know what she's doing. Can you do that? Hmm? This is why there is a problem. A very big problem. Because what you know, and this is the way of Christianity, and what God himself knew that this is the way of life, is not the same. For you, unless everything is good in your life, that's when you say, ah, Father, I bless your holy name. When things become sour, you say, I'm failing to play because of the situation is bad. Look at your Savior, Jesus Christ. Even at the point of his death, the man was able to go on his knees and pray to his father. Look at Stephen, an apostle of God. At the point of his death, people were stoning him. Stoning him. He said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. That love is not from within his body. It's from the throne of mercy. Where you could not feel the pain in the flesh and hold a grudge against those who are killed. Even a witch, you can pray for a witch to say, Father, I wish that person a long life so that this man or this woman may come to know the truth and repent from that wickedness. Not where you stand to say, I stand here. Every witch must die. Which scripture? Which scripture? If you say every witch must die, you are forgetting that you were once, you know, a wicked person before you become a a child of God. If God killed you there when you were committing sin, are you going to be here and say, I'm a child of God? This is why you need to know that love is not an option, but the way of life. Life. Look at our politicians. You hear them saying, I love everyone, I, I, I do this and that. 
that love is not you know real as long as you cannot support their position you become what the enemy and this is a warning to you believers i know that you belong to different political party a church where you are more than a thousand you are two thousand i'm sure all the political parties are inside what the church anywhere where you are in that political field carry the love of god carry what mm -hmm. Just, you know, speak the language that people, you know, who understand you and give you whatever you want from them. Killing your brother or beating your brother does not represent the love of God in you as a child of God. If you beat your brother on Thursday or Friday and then Sunday or inside the church, praying to who? Who are you praying to? You are forgetting the work on that, you know, you are calling. Eh? Behind your back. Love is greater than anyone here on earth. God has kept this world not because of what we have done to him, but because of his love. There are countries that cannot even recognize Jesus as the son of God. And yet, they are progressing. I hear people say, you Christians, you are always in tongues, blah, 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 blah. Look at this country. They are not even praying to God Almighty, but their economy is booming. Does it mean because of economy, you need to lose your salvation? Economy is for this world. What about that life there? Hmm? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If someone slap you on one cheek, turn to them on the other also. Can you do that? Just one slap. Just one slap. Just one slap. Ulesa ishi watu la kuchechi, palina wa kuchechi. Mishina wa kui katano mbao na mwiko ntololeni. Hmm? But the Bible says that nga wa kutowe, kupili ulana kuisa. No, kuna kwe na wa kutowe. Those who are gossiping about you, let them gossip you even about where you are sleeping and where you are staying. Let them talk about your marriage. If they are talking about your business that you are going down, let them talk about your children. But if you say, oh, so you are talking about my business. Ah, you are joining them now. Those who are saying the husband is, is like it's not normal, the business, what and what, let them talk about your bedroom. Don't answer them. That is the meaning of this. Hmm? They can talk about the way, you know, you dress, whatever is, you know, there in their mouth. Your language is always like your father in heaven. Because love is not an option, but the way of what? Life. This is why you see wicked people are still there. Because love is at work. When someone slap you, tend to decide. Finish me if you want. You need to rebuke this person. If you rebuke this person, the person you want to rebuke will not sit idle because the devil will engage both of you. The source of that confusion will engage both of you. If care is not taken, you may end up fighting and go to police. But if you go to your knees and approach the throne of mercy, where God Almighty is sitting, ha, you enjoy whatever you are going through. Jesus enjoyed the insult, the persecution, the name calling, because he understood that life is not what you know uh, people think about you or what they are saying about you. Love is the way of what? Let me show the world love. Just Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we are celebrating Easter. 
What is the meaning of that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give to everyone who asks you. And if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Give everyone. As a child of God, the way people talk about their fellow human beings, more especially when it comes to more especially money, people love money more than God Almighty. Give everyone who asks you. Don't look at, is he my brother or my sister? No. It is a command. You are commanded to see that love is the way of life. If you love everyone, no one can fight love and win the battle. No one. There is no love in this world, people of God. There is no love in this world, people of God. Don't be deceived. People are just confessing what they are not calling. If love is there, there's no way you can, you know, harm your brother or your sister. Or you go behind the family. You start destroying the family. And you say, I love this person. Ah. Me too, my brother, I hear you. <laughs> So, love is not an option by the way of what? You are sitting there. You are disturbed because of what you know people are saying about you. Someone who is in deep love with God, anything outside your body, they are just scratching you. They cannot reach where God Almighty is seated in your heart. People can say whatever. People can do whatever they want to do with you. They can call you names, insult you. The love of God is beyond the insult. You will not respond to them. I'll just, you know, uh, pick where I want to take some points for you. First John chapter 3, verse 11. Then I'll take you again to the same book, just within First John. This is verse 11. First John. Chapter 3, verse 11. For this is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. This is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Heard from whom? It is a command from your father. Do not be like kind. This is verse 12. Do not be like what? Cain murdered his own brother. There are people who are like Cain. He murdered Abel. Who belongs to the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own actions were evil and his brothers were righteous. Does it mean if you kill a righteous man because of this world, then you feel good that you are on top of everything? They murdered Abel. But up to today, I don't think so. Cain benefited anything out of what, you know, he did to his brother? The answer is no. The Bible says up to today, his blood is still crying on the ground. A righteous man, if you harm the righteous man, you are touching the eyes of God, if you don't know. This is why you need to love. As long as you are like your father in your heart, your battle is not your battle as you see it, but the battle for God Almighty. Love is not feelings, people of God. The way you feel towards someone because you are getting something, that is not love. You can tell your girlfriend that I love you. Your interest is the body. That is not love. If you discover that your girlfriend is going uh, out with another, are you going to say I love you? 
you start calling her names but look at your father sitting there watching you committing all kinds of sins but his hand is still open to you to say come back i will not call you a madala or whatever love is not an option but the way of life where there is love there is pro look at countries where there is minerals there are minerals on the ground, copper, cobalt, whatever. But because of disunity, hatred for personal gain, they are living in poverty. Love is the element of progress. Whether it is within your family or within yourself, if you carry love, you are a free person. If love is at work in you, you feel good. You enjoy life. Even where, you know, everything is bad, you enjoy what? Life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Do not be like Cain, who murdered his what? Because of what? Because of what? I can't hear you. Verse 13. Do not be surprised, my brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. You will not see the world telling you that we hate you. It is your brother and your sister. Satan will enter and use them to hate you. If the spirit of God, the spirit of love is in you, you will hate no one but love everyone. That is the nature of God. So, if someone is, you know, saying bad things about your life, or you have been offended by your brother, your sisters, because of maybe material things, you as a believer, carry them inside your heart. For the sake of unity, for the purpose in your family. For the sake of unity of the kingdom of God. Carry them inside your heart. One day, they'll come to know the truth and say, yes, this is our brother or our sister. She's a child of God or he's a child of God. It will take some time but for you who understand life, that life is not what people think, that this is the way. As long as I cannot support you or you cannot support me, you are my enemy. But Christians or believers, your life is not like that. Even those who are opposing you, love them. If you love them, you are winning them. You may not see the fruit today, but tomorrow, you will see the fruit. They are going to talk about the way you treated them, to say truly that brother is a child of God. We did this and that, but the way this man, you know, responded, we thought maybe he would do this or do that, but he, he was just calm and quiet. Love is not an option by the way of what? Tell your neighbor, I can't hear you. Mm -hmm. Even those who are condemning you, don't join them to condemn others. Even you stop condemning anyone because of their weakness. Because your weakness is not your destiny. Your mistake is not your destiny. If you are condemning someone today and tomorrow he became, you know, a born again, what are you going to say? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me jump from there. Chapter 4, the same book, verse 7. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. 
Let us love one another. Love comes from where? Everyone who loves, born of what? And knows who? Do you know God? Hmm? You know him? You know him? How would you know that you know him? The way you live, the way you conduct yourself, the way you respond to issues. There is no need for anyone to say Mulenga is a child of God. Personally, I have to know myself that I am a child of God. How? The way I respond to issues, the way I conduct, even where you know people are saying bad things about myself, I will just cool. The love of God is more than what I am receiving outside my body. There I will, you remain focused and determined to achieve your goal as a child of God. Praise the Lord. Love is from where? Is it from money? For example, each and every time you ask your friend, my friend, can you give me a, 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 a 1,000? And you know that this person has got money. Help me with the 1,000. He said no. Before you know it, he's you know, bringing out bunches of money. Uh, giving to, ah, you want uh, 5,000? Oh, sorry, <laughs> get it. And this is your friend. You are together. Oh, oh what you want is 1,000. Ah, you, you meet another one. Ah, I need, oh, sorry, sorry, uh, get it. By the time you are leaving that person, you meet another friend who will say, hey, I thought Murenga is my friend. That man is wicked, I'm telling you. In fact, I will even treat his number. He's stupid. Can you imagine? I asked him for a thousand kwacha. He said, I don't have. We just met this uh, man with uh, he list 5,000. I was looking at him. I said, oh, so my money is what you know you can rubbish. You, your money is, is okay. I will see. Mine is coming. I received the invoice yesterday, so this coming week, I think money will be in my account. I will show him. I will show him my true color. Is there any difference between the two of you? The way we live here on earth. The world or the people of this world knows you that you go to church every Sunday. You are a minister. You are a pastor. But why do you hate people with a passion? Why are you fighting your sister? Why are you fighting your brother? Consider them to be important the way you feel yourself that you are, you are important. He is watching. He is what? Watching. If the world understands that love is not an option, but the way of life, all this fight that you see will not be there. Because what belongs to your brother, you will let your brother get it freely. What belongs to your sister, you let the sister get it freely. See the way our politicians give money when it is campaign time. Can you tell me if that is love? The money that they give when it is a campaign time. Is it love? No. They are buying your mind. They are not showing you love. Let them go there and, you know, they are driving this big, big vehicle. You'll be standing on the side of the Lord. You say, ah, ah. The honorable is coming. In fact, I was part of his campaign. Honorable. Ah, you see speed. Ooh. They are there. The love that they showed you on that particular time is not a genuine love. They were just, you know, buying your mind. Once you put them there, you will not see them again. If you say, oh, no, on that, no, for security reasons. But remember that by then you are not thinking about security reasons. Why now? You are, am I now a criminal? We hear cadres complaining and crying that we are suffering. Before now we are, you know, rubbing shoulders together with our leaders. But today, you can't even call them or them to pick your call. That 
is not a genuine. This is why you see the world is on fire. If you put me there and I ignore your call and you want to eat, you are a family man, you'll be thinking of another thing to do. Love is not an option, people of God. Even our leaders, our politicians, if we embrace each other in the love of God, these things that we are hearing, you know, fighting, quarreling, doing this, will not be there. What we are lacking is oneness. And that oneness cannot come to you and me unless we believe in Jesus, the hope of life. The man who understands the pain of the flesh, he will comfort you and tell you to say, do not respond to this. My love is at work in you. Are you there? Oh, yes. Are you there? Oh, yes. Are you listening to me? Oh, yes, I'm listening. So love is not what? But the way of what? Take it like that. What does it mean? Simply means you will not be meeting people who will be supporting you. Or saying good things about your life. Even your family members or your friends. But because you understand that love is not an option by the way of life. You will not mind what they are saying about you. The love of God will carry you. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on. Don't pay attention. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Before you know it, you meet again if the same people are against you. And they will understand that this one is a child of God. Why are you complaining about the things which happened years back? You are forgetting that there are some people who are also complaining about you. Love is not an option but the way of I can't hear you at the back love is what but the way of what do you love everyone eh? do you love everyone me I love you eh? even those who are gossiping about me I love you uh -huh. that is Christianity if you love those who are, you know, just supporting you, saying good, ah, Blinga is a man of God. <laughs> that one is anointed. They say, No, well, that you are anointed. Even the, oh, <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. If you hear someone say, Pastor, I almost beat someone in town. He said, Mulenga, he said, Satan is what? Eh? Me. He's forgetting that thou shalt not touch the anointed one. Hmm? He's cursed. I curse him. He will never see good things in his life. Talking about me. The anointed man. Does he know me? Here you are. Now vibrating like a lion. Does he know me? Oh, tell, I don't want to see that woman here. I don't want to see that brother here. I am anointed and he's talking lavish. His case is under a case. The battle for the survivor is not a personal challenge. But one with Jesus. There you overpower your enemy. Do not respond the way they respond to this world. Let the Holy Spirit be the one to fight your battle. Because you are a loving child. You love everyone. Even those who hate you. Abantu balamba. Bambila kumono wafwa. Fila mwana tiyo we are going to see body viewing. Ha. Chena mwono le shapu na matiem. <laughs> How do you know that That is the nature of human beings. So love is not what? An option. By the way of what? Love everyone. What you expect from your brother or your sister? will not see it or hear it, but the negative things. But because you understand that love is not an option, but the way of life, you understand them. You keep on, you know, loving them. You heard the song, we sang this song yesterday. The, the, I heard this song from uh, 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 Praise. There are two songs we, I enjoyed yesterday and the one they, they were singing this morning. 
It is not you to use your flesh to tell anyone that you are a child of God. No. It is him who is above everyone. Love came from where? Mm -hmm. Love came from God. But your love will come from where? Money or relationship? How many people have you broke? How many people are not getting you through your line? As long as you call them idiot, that idiot, you broke their number. Even those who are persecuting you, please keep on loving them and praying for them. You are putting fire on their head. You will sleep peacefully, work peacefully, enjoy the days of your life here on earth because the love of God will keep you strong and strong. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.